Hi, I'm Rhiannon, owner of the Epsom Bakehouse, and welcome. Today, I'm going to chat all about the very simple things that you need to start baking bread at home. And if you try to start baking bread at home, you really want to, and you might be thinking, well, I just don't know if I've got all the ingredients and equipment that I'll need to do that. Well, today, I want to take you through the very simple uh, things that you'll need to bake delicious, fresh bread at home. And if you'd like more bread making tips, recipes, and information about all my online courses and classes, then you can sign up for my newsletter via the link below this video. And in fact, at the moment, if you do want to start baking great bread at home, perhaps you're not sure where to start or you tried before and it just turned out like a brick, then you can take advantage of 58% off my Bread Baking 101 course. That's until this Sunday, 12th of November. And you can take advantage of that by clicking the link below this video. And the course is a pre-recorded course that you can access at a time to suit you and bake along with the nine step-by-step -step video modules that take you through baking a crusty white sandwich loaf, some delicious rolls, a flatbread and a seeded soda bread. Some really wonderful breads with the wow factor that you can treat friends and family with. So if you'd like to know more, do check out that link and get that offer whilst it's still available. So today, I wanted to just talk a little bit more about the simple things you need to bake bread at home. And just to say that you don't need any kind of fancy equipment and ingredients just to get ba started baking that delicious fresh bread. Just to have a look at the equipment. So I've got a few examples here of the things that I commonly use to bake bread at home here in my kitchen and that you would too if you were baking your own delicious bread. So starting off with the equipment. So naturally a large bowl to mix your dough together and also, if you do have, and perhaps the most technical thing that I do say is a great thing to have, is a dough scraper. So it's this plastic, uh, very thin plastic scraper, got this curved edges, it's great for scraping your bowl out, dividing up your dough, scraping off the bench, and many other things. So if you can get your hands on one of those, fantastic. Otherwise, a spoon, just to mix your dough together. Um, and then a jug to weigh out any liquids into your dough. And of course, a scales to measure your ingredients. So uh, during all of my recipes, do weigh out all of the ingredients to get that accuracy. And then when you are baking your um, final doughs, um, something like a tin, if you want to make a sandwich loaf with that traditional tin shape, have a tin like this. This is a small one into which you'd put about one pound in weight of dough or about 400 to 450 grams. Um, so a small tin like this is really great, but you can also always freeform all of your bread doughs and pop them on a lined baking tray. So have a baking sheet or baking tray like this, uh, line it with baking paper, and then you can pop your doughs on there to rise and put them into the oven. And then in terms of the ingredients, if you're making that crusty white sandwich loaf, the simple ingredients you'll need, starting with some strong white wheat bread flour, get some in your local supermarket, experiment with what you've got uh, available there, find out what works best for you in your kitchen. You don't need to start off with any kind of fancy and expensive flours. Look for that strong bread flour. Uh, you're looking for one with a higher protein content. So if it's not called strong bread flour, then you're looking for a wheat flour, a white wheat flour with a, a higher protein content if you look at the nutritional information. And then key ingredients otherwise are your salt to add some flavour into your bread and your yeast. So dried yeast, the instant action yeast that you can mix straight into your dough, probably the most convenient and simple one to use. Get some of that, and obviously that is going to rise your dough. Obviously then also you would have liquid, probably water as well, to make up your dough. So those are a few of the very simple things that you need to get started baking bread at home. It's not too much, and possibly you already have quite a few of these things already at home. So if you want to get started and you've got questions, you'd like another bread making tip answered, then do let me know in the comments below this video or tune back in. I'll be back very soon with more tips. And as mentioned, if you want to take advantage of that current offer on my Bread Baking 101 course, then do click the link that I'll pop below this video. 
and you can also sign up for my newsletter for regular bread making tips, recipes and more information about all the online bread making courses that you can join with me to learn to bake your own delicious fresh bread step by step at home. Thanks for watching and I look forward to another bread making tip with you very soon.